Scooter Janet provided some fireworks, but the Cincinnati Reds fell 54 to the Boston Red Sox on Friday at Great American Ballpark. Here are the main storylines. Box scored Sox 5, Reds 4 Sal Romano's hot streak came to an end. The rookie right-hander had been on a fantastic run coming into the game, posting a 2.09 ERA and striking out 29 against just 11 walks in his last six starts. But it was clear early that Friday's start would be different. Romano loaded the bases with no outs in the first, hurt a bit by some miserly umpiring by Pat Hoberg, but managed to allow just one run to score on a sacrifice fly. He was gifted an out in the second when Rafael Devers overslid second on a double for the first out, and Romano fanned the next two batters. The third also went smoothly. It all crumbled in the fourth. Romano's first four batters went double, walk, double, home run to turn a 41 Reds lead into a 54 deficit. Romano was able to get out of the inning without any more damage, although he walked another batter in the process. The Reds pinch it for the 23-year-old in the bottom of the inning, ending his night after 80 pitches. He was charged with five runs on five hits and four walks, while striking out three. More once itching to be a Red, Tucker Barnhart is now positioned to stay one more Madeira's Andrew Benintendi makes his GABP debut more bar mailbag does Eugenio Suarez hit cleanup in 2018 Scooter Jenner made more history. The Reds' second baseman already had etched his name in the history books with his Furhammer game back in June. He joined an even more exclusive group than the Furhammer game club on Friday. In the first inning, Janet hammered the first pitch from Rick Porcello into the right field seats for a grand slam. It was his fourth grand slam of the season, putting him in lofty grand slam company. Only Lou Gehrig had ever hit both four homers in a single game and four grand slams in a single season, at least before Janet did it. Even then, Janet stands alone. Gehrig had his fur Hummer game in 1932 and his for Grand Slam season in 1934. Janet is the only player to do both in the same season, 